At the time, Council was looking to move to a new office complex, so we had to look at how we were going to accommodate a, a new data centre. We had um, ageing infrastructure, so we had to look at how we replace that uh, equipment. And the time and effort that was involved in maintaining that old infrastructure was an issue to us. We looked at three um, different solutions and the first one was obviously to keep using our existing old data centre. The second one was to look at building a new data centre in our new offices and the third one was to look at the cloud option and that was about the first time we considered looking at cloud as, as, as an option and it was that stage we got TDL involved in doing a cloud readiness assessment before we went to the next stage of actually doing a tender for a uh, cloud migration process. It became fairly obvious at the time that, that there were some barriers in us moving to the cloud. We really had to modernise our IT infrastructure. A lot of our servers were not virtualised. We had a lot of physical servers with distributed uh, storage, various application and database servers that we really need to uh, review and uh, modernise before we could move to the cloud. So we used TDL's cloud migration process to de-risk the transformation to the cloud for, for Council and the program has been designed to help governments in this transition process. The three stages of the TDL framework was to um, design the solution, procure the cloud services, then migrate Council's IT environment to the cloud. They best showed a, an understanding of business requirements, showed a clear delivery uh, framework, and they also provided a single point of contact, which was important to us. GD were the only one to offer the, the Zerto DR solution. So Zerto is, is the tool that, used, uh, that TD used for the um, disaster recovery and component of our, of our solution. Um, and it really sits in the background and it replicates our systems into a recovery environment and it's transparent to us. And, and also enables us to undertake um, disaster recovery testing when we want uh, without getting to TD involved. And gives us a level of confidence that our systems are being replicated. The recovery solution can be used um, if required. The project went well for us because a lot of time and effort was um, spent up front in understanding the requirements and establishing a framework to deliver the outcome. Our IT infrastructure underpins all of Council's business. Having a reliable and scalable environment uh, is a non-negotiable for Council. Some of the other uh, benefits to us were around um, the power usage that we weren't having to spend all that money on an inefficient data centre and the, and the power that that consumes. And I mentioned before the floor space that the data centre takes, we, we just didn't have the floor space to, to build a new data centre. And also we don't have to have our resources understanding the, the technicalities of uh, managing IT infrastructure. We can focus on the, the business of this council, which is far more important to us. So with the transition to cloud, it, it, it enables us to focus on some of our uh, internal business systems and our processes and, and try and provide improvements for the organisation and not having to focus on the, the IT infrastructure side of things. Yeah, we'd be happy to work with TDL again. For us, they're, a, they're sort of a right-sized organisation. Uh, we don't get lost in them um, that we may do with, with larger organisations, and there's always a, a point of contact that we can reach any time we need to. I think one of the things, the main things that TDL brought to the table to, for us was the um, understanding of our business requirements and that we were able to work very closely with their technical staff in, in delivering the project. We weren't bogged down by excessive overhead administration and we've experienced a lot of some of that with other organisations that we've dealt with in the past.